and good morning and welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel hang on let's do that because then he'll go away oh dear, he just wants to say hello anyway hope you're well hope you're keeping safe welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel and here we are in the castle um there's lots that are not unemployed blah 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 when I first logged in, the vertebrate that crashed at the end of the last episode was sort of just skitting across like that in some sort of glitchy motion, which was very weird, but it has now stopped, which is... Oh, there you go. That's the vertebrate... vertebrate? Wreckage. Anyway, um, we're off to see this fella. Cooter's tool shed. Oh, he's got he's got some stuff. <sighs> really don't want that one on. Uh, no, do you know what? No, we're here. We're gonna go. Lily, Only open is that with you? A key. It's yeah. Cooter. Over here. Don't go in there. They'll kill you. Follow me. Cooter? What's up? Oh. Hey, wait up. We're coming. Okay. See what Cuda wants. Okay. Oh, we get to go into Cuda's tool shed. They've obviously kicked him out of his house. Uh huh. I got it. Okay, we're there. We. Cuda. <coughs> what the hell, man? What are you doing in here? Um. What am I doing in here? Why don't you ask that goddamn sheriff of yours? Going around, starting shit with the gunners. Poking hornets' nests. All right. Whoa, whoa. Slow down. Start from the beginning. What's going on? Gunners, Lily. Gunners been living in my house for four months now. They may be living my tool shed, farm my crops, and give them the food. And it's all been a fucking get your scout. All the shit just to get one guy. That's how much trouble your sheriff hero's been starting. Oh. Wait. You mean the gunners that took Hewitt are here, right now, in your house? That's the poor bastard's name, yeah. I'll never forget it. That's all he'd tell him. If they tortured him, and he just kept repeating his name. He died for your sheriff's department. And now I'm living in a tool shed and shitting in a pot for them, too. Jeez, Kuda. I'm sorry. I, I had no idea. Fuck your sorries, Lily. Why the hell you guys gotta go start in trouble and leaving us to clean up the mess? Hey! No reason to keep chewing me out, Cooter. I ain't one of the department. And you know damn well the sheriff doesn't start shit. She finishes it. Diamond City would be Gunner City if it wasn't for her and Oaks. Yep. And the Gunners would have made slaves out of the half of us they didn't kill. She don't go picking fights, and you know it. But you can't expect us to roll over and take it. Not like you did here for four months, apparently. Take it? I'm just an old man, Lily. I don't want you telling me. There's a squad in my house. I ought to shoot you for saying shit like that. Oh, you're gonna shoot me for calling you a pansy, but <laughs> not a gunner for taking your house and turning you into a slave on your own land, tough guy? Oh, I'll shoot you right in that big fucking mouth of yours. Bring it, you old fart. I'll punch your goddamn head down into your chest cavity and level your house with you and the gunners inside. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh. Uh, calm down, guys. The gunners are the bad guys. Tell that to this hoary bag of sawdust and vinegar. I'm ready to go in there and make some ground gunner. Is that so? Tell you what. You get my house back for me and I won't shoot you in that overactive mouth of yours. <laughs> I'll even tell you what I heard those assholes talk about these past four months. Something tells me a sheriff wants to hear that. Oh, okay. And you stop blaming <clears throat> her for this. In you know I'm right. All right, all right. Just get me my fucking house back. Okay. It's a deal then, crazy old fool. Come on, let's go air out some assholes. Find out what we can before Kuda dies of old age. Always a regular goddamn fucking comedian, Lily. Here's the key. Mouth. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna try that. Depends if they can see me or not, I suppose. Are they ready? They're gonna see Lily. Oh, that's for sure. Right. Well, that fight's still going on. 
anyway. Well, we might be able to get the first few. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Hang on. Right. Yep. Level 103. Okay, we've got three others in here. Uh, maybe some upstairs. Hi there, Mr. Major. Oh, Miss Major. Lady Major. Oh, terminal. We like it when we have a terminal. Um, is there anything downstairs? No, it's just filled with gunk. Oh, we've got someone who is invisible. But only last 30 seconds. Hi. Oh, that blew up something. You don't know where I am. Okay, well, you're the bad one. Can't, so... And... All right, Coot. Yes. Did these assholes really drink every last one of the beers? Seriously, though, look around. If these guys were the ones who took Hewitt. They might have some intel around here. Yep, sure Except they have. This terminal. These are the assholes who took Hewitt, all right. Overcharge. They planned this for months, and we're hours from bugging out of here. The entry mentions the hub city operation you did for Oaks, which means Devola was in town for something larger. And these guys were working with Hub City and that squad in Vault 75. Mm. Which means they were all a part of this larger operation. Hey, you know what I just thought of? What? Did you check for intel when you took out Devola? Yeah. Um. I'll be with you in a second, Lily. Yeah, we got loads, I'm sure. Seriously, they really did. Oh. Drink all the beer. I don't need that many bottles. I really don't. We'll have that. And we'll have one of them. Um, there. Alright. Um, okay. Go around this way. Um, -na -na -na. Yeah, they really did. Look at it all. Dear God. Put a bit of cork on it. Nope. Uh, nope. I want those. Well, if you want glass, this is... Um, this is the place to get... I am going to need glass, aren't I? Uh, damnation. Oh. Sorry, Heather. Damn. Hang on. That's. Oh, I slept so well. But this guy, oh, he made his own booze, didn't he? So they were just drinking everything. Wow. Um, that's a lot of bottles we're going to have to leave at the castle. Half each one of them. Uh huh. Beer bottle, beer bottle, beer bottle. Um, beer, beer, beer. There. That's, um... <clears throat> yep. 
That's that's gonna do me. So that's outside. Right, oh Alright, but Lily, sorry, but Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen this much glass in one place, to be honest. Makes you wonder how they managed to walk around, isn't it? One of those portable power plant things. Any books? Nope. Um. Oh, okay. Nice. Some interesting stuff. Let's put that oh he's come back in. That's fine. Oh, ammo. They were set for a time, weren't they? Um <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it was all his beer. Oh, no, 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 no. Get up, get up, come on. That'll do. Right, stop. Stop, just... Uh, nope, and... Right. And... What did you have on you? Mm. Oh, hello. A victory. You know what I said about not picking everything up? Oh, I can't help it. I'm sorry. Every can of water. Right. Oh, oh there's Lily. Um, no, it wasn't. Um, no, I figured I'd loot the place. Broken fence. It was on the mush. I had no idea to look for intel. Yeah, I'm still adjusting to that diet myself. The sheriff cut me out of the operations loop. Won't lie, sucks not getting told what's going on. Look at this goddamn mess! Those fucking gunners trash my place! They drink all the beer too! Why'd they have to drink all the beer? Well, it's four months. Man, I'm really sorry they fucked your shit up, Cooter. I'll have Delano radio Zeke at the garage. They can come help you clean up. I'll even mention he needs to bring some beer with him. That sound good? Well, it doesn't sound good, but it sounds better than where I was this morning when I woke up. So it'll do, little Lily. It'll do. I just want to sit on my porch, watch the ocean, and drink beer. Is that too much to ask? That yeah. sounds like paradise, my friend. I'm gonna have to swing by on my next run and join you. Listen, Lily, I wanted to apologize for yelling at you earlier about mm. the sheriff. We all heard of her out here. We all know they're camouflage. I wanted to tell you guys, but I just didn't feel safe. Those gunners kidnapped your friend all right. I saw them set up the ambush point. I didn't see what they did to him, because they carted him off. But they dumped his body back where they found him. It's okay. I understand what it's like to be alone. You're out here by yourself. I'm glad you're still alive for what it's worth, Cooter. Anything else you can tell us that was important? Whenever they talk plans, it was pretty obvious they were reporting to some colonel. They never said his name, just called him the colonel. They sure went to a lot of trouble <clears throat> to get your guy quietly and alive. It took them a couple of months of just waiting and watching. I remember them talking about this colonel guy because two of them were bickering over who got to deliver the good news to him. They were supposed to get your guy talking and send the info to this colonel. After that, they just waited around for a while and drank all my beer. Scumbag. Sure about that? Did they say where he was? Where they were taking their reports? No, they never said where they'd go off to. And we live out here on a peninsula, so you always gotta walk west to get out of here first. Mm, but there's more, so shut up for a second, I'll get to it. Uh, Sorry. So just last week, I see them dragging a settler and his daughter down here and rough them both up. All right. They put a gun to her head and threatened to shoot her. They handed her father something and screamed to him, get it done. The father came back yesterday and they returned his daughter to him. I don't know what he was doing for them, but he didn't have no choice. Guarantee it was whoever dumped this herbicide in the water supply. 
Gotta remind the sheriff he was forced before she finds out who it was. Mm. Anything else before we bounce out of here, Kuda? Yeah. They had me slaying for four months, Lily. You tell the sheriff she's got a hell of a blind spot in the way those patrols operate. Hey, That's Trey. just it, Kuda. They're patrols, not frontline troops. They ain't got the manpower to defend the entire Commonwealth. I ain't talking about a bodyguard, Lily. I mean her scouts ain't never stopped to say hi to anyone who didn't have something to trade. All he would have to do was ask one of the other local settlers, and he would have heard all about how the gunners were watching him. Now he's dead. Gee. I, uh, I see what you mean about that, Cooter. You make a really good point. Let's make a really good point. I'm gonna have to talk to the sheriff and Crenshaw about that. The only thing better than a beer on the deck is a beer on the deck with a buddy. You tell her other scouts I said that. <clears throat> okay. I will. Who knows? Maybe they can bring some oranges with them for you. Some orange what? Oranges? <laughs> They're fruit? Orange fruit? What kind? Orange? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> we'll be seeing one of them scouts in a few days. Try not to shoot him, okay? <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it, little Lily. I'll be here. I've always been here. Bless. All right. Oh, those. Oh, I can't use them. Chain. I'll take the final. We'll take all the bits and bobs they have here. I grabbed the holotape of this asshole's journal. We gotta get it to the sheriff. But I got a sneaking suspicion this all has something to do with events in the past coming back to bite us in the ass. Captain, okay. Let's stop by Hub City on the way back. See if we can find any intel where you iced Avola. Try to tie this all together. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, right, move in. Decent house, nice place. What was that? Grave diggers are here. Recon observation start tomorrow. Uh, recon, two months in, we have a mark and no more beer. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Bryant, the app. Uh, not from here. Uh, phase one. Captured one sergeant. Hit this, because this might give us an idea of what the hell's going on. Rank and that, he works for he wants anything else. We can check now. Water supply is kept in a system under Diamond City. The bad news is security card access. Need the entire container of herbicide concentrated poison supply. Uh, Major Devola was killed at Obsidian Isis, then left a calling card. Uh, okay. All right. Lieutenant O'Brien. Well, the OC is like down at Vault 75. We need that Institute Revenue Stream. Got greedy and hired raiders to kidnap the sheriff. Oh, okay. And um, all the intel he had was compromised. Yes, it has it. How long do they have my head to? Today, phase two. Uh, the colonel is finally green lights for phase two. Seems lo losing a bronze intel moved on a couple of bit. Uh, la la la. It's probably found a civilian with access to the green zone. Redeployment. The vault. Okay, so that's going to be what? 75? No. Ah, oh, the one down southwest. Oh, and they were going to shoot him. There you go. Shoot him in the head before he wakes up tomorrow morning. There you go. Well, you take you take care, Cooter. Um, let's see if the fight's still going on outside. Oh, there it goes. Woo! Ooh. And. Bunk, bunk, bunk. Um, don't really want to get anywhere near that. Has it stopped? It has stopped. That's fine. It does three bounces. Oh, now it's here. It does three bounces, and then we're fine. All right, well. My word. So, data, Hub City Warehouse, that's there. We could just go to the slog. Oh, hello, that took a few minutes to come in, didn't it? All right. Oh, hello. I don't think it'll be easy, but yeah. Guess what? Uh, I think the Commonwealth's got a real shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do I now that you've gone. Crops coming in pretty. Yep.
Uh, thirty-six. Um, that, uh, that. Uh, cavalier exterminator. Uh, th that one is nice. We get rid of. Oh, I did have some books. All right, um, three oh eight, thirty eight. Ten mil, yep, 193 rounds, that's good news. Bioflamer fusion shotgun. Uh we'll do that. 326. That's presumably gonna be Oh no, I've got rid of all the junk. So uh Mentats go to moldy food, mate. That's possibly something to do with it. I didn't know I'd had that made that many. Quantum. Uh, psycho. Only 13 water. Um, although we are okay for bits. 13. Sugar. Okay, 309. Overdue book. Um, 10 mil, that's M6. That's going to be 8. Good. So, hang on. Uh, Heather? Hmm. I'm... Hey, what's up, Professor? Hmm? Let's see what you have. He wants Here to chat. Go. Right. Um, I'm going to hold on to them. Laser scattered... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And seriously, look at how much money I've got like that. That's 70. Oh, dear. Um, hang on. Oh, a sunset sarsaparilla bottle cap. Get rid of those. That. There you go. Um, you're, um, you're new around here. That's glorious. Okay, right. Here we are. Oh, we're back. All done, sorted, organised. I hope I didn't press pause too early, but we'll find out in a bit. Um. Oh, that a bed? That is. Well, that'll sort. Though, although I should, really have eaten and had some f or had some food and water before we settled down um uh, heavy first so in that Next case ever. whoops you're right lily um so if i went to um, wow. the whole time oh DNA. Uh, yes. well, bless you lily yeah the cow's still there Hi there, robot. Oh, hang on. Oh, let's. Hello. Oh, excuse me. We've got a present for him. Sorry, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got caught up in my work. No, I've got something nice for you, Arlen. What do you think? Nice, isn't she? Yeah, she's glorious. Yeah, it's nice. Really nice. Yeah, it's nice. Really nice. You've got an eye for them too, huh? Mm. It's a genuine Getty Up Buttercup. The 2076 Special Edition. Best toy on the market before the war. Mm. It's a shame, though. I just might be I your best friend. I all the parts to get this old girl working again. Don't suppose you happen to have a spare crate of toy parts on you? Um. Um. Well, what did I do with them? Not with me, but I know where you could find some. The old automatoys building downtown. Of course. The old stock room. Well, <clears throat> well, that 
changes everything. I'm sure I can salvage the parts I need from there. And more besides... I could have sworn I picked Here, up everything. Take something for the trouble. It's not much, but you deserve it. No, it's a pleasure. I have to finish up a few things around here. But after that, well, I know where I'm going next. Okay. But uh, Arlen... Hey Just need to wrap up a few oh, things. Oh, Arlen. Here, and I'll be on my way. Thanks again for the tip. Hang on. I am going to load that. Because I want to give him the take. I don't know if that's going to make him happier or not. Can I do both? Interesting. Remaining in factory default mode. That's fine. Um, hello? Hmm? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I don't know what the affinity is, okay? I didn't mean to ignore you. All right. So, what do you think? Oh, um, so are you the Arlen Glass? Are you Glass? the Arlen Glass? The toy designer? I am. Where did you hear that? Hmm. Oh, there did you go. Did you have a daughter? Marlene. She died in the I'd war. rather give him this than I fix it. wasn't the best father. Too old. Worked too much. Very sad. In the end, I... I never even got to say goodbye. There we are. I think I have something that belongs to you. A uh, holotape? Let's see now. Go ahead. <gasps> Hi, Daddy. <laughs> After two hundred years. Oh God. Now you work too much. I want you to read to me again. Uh, Mommy says you're helping all the horses find good Not home. sure if this is the kindest one or not, to be honest. I, I love you. Singing my song in the blue. And mm. Oh, <laughs> Buttercup says she loves you too. We mm. you miss you. Come home soon. Oh, Marlene. I, uh, I, give me a minute. Of course, you take all the it's... time you want been so long i never thought i'd hear their voices again you can't imagine what this means to me i don't think anyone could all this uh, all these years you never gave up did you you're still working too much all these years it was made you mind up, did you we're still working too much i suppose so we made toys we made children happy that's all that mattered <laughs> what a lovely as man. long as i can still do that i will it's the least i can do for her um what happened to them? what happened to them we had an apartment in cambridge i went to the office that morning to try to talk to mark again no, no. when when it all happened, I tried to get back, but the city was in chaos. By the time I got home, there was only a crater. I lay down in the ruins. I, I just wanted to die. Instead, I woke up like this. Hmm. Um, what now? What now? I... I can't possibly repay you for this. I don't need anything. Here, take. Take everything I have. It's not much, but... And one more thing. I was saving this for her birthday. All these years. It was all I had to remember her by. <laughs> Please. I want you to have it. Oh, Thank you. That's really kind. Um, Heather. Hey. Mm hmm. There we go. go I see him, he's listening again. Right. Hi, Daddy. Hmm. Here we go. Yeah. 
Yep, yeah, he does. It's just over there. Um, all right. So I am expecting company. And I suppose what I should do is I've just done all that. I should. Oh, we're into six days. Look, my God, really impressed with this, actually. Don't fiddle with your mods. Pick your mods. Make sure they don't clash with each other. I think we're still. Oh, hello. Oh, we have got company. Oh, yeah, look, we have. I don't know where I am. There you go. Oh, hello. You're going to be a pain, aren't you? Okay. You ever wonder what sort of flesh-eating bacteria grows in the pockets of pants that haven't been washed in two centuries? Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh, Come on, take him down. Oh, son of a bitch. All right. And I get, oh, yes. There you go. Alright, so it's going to be clear out what we've got. Okay. Nope. Get rid of that. Alright, let's have... Uh, oh, there's going to be all of them upstairs, isn't there? All right. Well, oh, we've got that one needs to go. Oh, hello. That's going to do the job. You've got a Gauss rifle, which I'm not sure is allowed. Oh, and another synth. Oh, hello, I saw you. Right there. Train control. Lower. Doo -doo -doo. Was that coming from behind me? These pretzels. <laughs> ah, motherfucker. You're right, Lily. All right, let's um. Let's get the decent gun out. The decent gun. Right, and let's find out, because he's going to have some ammo for that. Yep. And, uh... Alright, where are we? Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, that was the other thing I wanted to do. Which was, we've got, yeah, there you go. So if I get encumbered, it's going to be 
Oh, loads of people are dying. You, my friend. Oh, what we got? We got fusion core. Oh, that's going to take you. Okay. That was a bit more lethal than I thought it was going to be. Uh, anything? You'd have to go into the green zone to get much more secure than this place. <sighs> yeah, that's true. There we go. So what have we got here? Uh, uh, arm, legs. Okay. There we go. I'll take his whiskey. All right. Yeah, I'm not seeing any movement over there, so... Whoop! And... Oh, hang on. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I have acrobat legs, don't I? But with this lot, I think, as they have repopulated... We are going to... Alright, polluted tunnel. Let's see what these guys have got to offer. All right. <laughs> Next. Even if it just makes them stick their heads up, that's got to be good. Oh, uh, uh, in a row. Nice. Very nice. That's why you take penetration. Because that would have missed otherwise. them. Oh, the Brigadier hasn't seen me. Okay. Um. Is it a random broken desk fan or a toy woodblock? Mm. I could really use a random broken desk fan or a toy woodblock. Well, we're here for intel, Lily, so... Uh, probably not. Acrobat. Oh, okay. Calibrated powerful. That's not bad, actually. Alright, um... I don't want any more bottles. Hang on. Uh, combat rifle I got rid of. I want that, that. Okay. Nope. Well. There's a lot of high rankers down there, isn't there? Um, all right, this is the warehouse. Make sure action points are good. Because there was about four or five in here last time. Oh, okay. That's you. Right. Yeah, I don't get it. Oh uh, no! Whack the vola and a bunch of gunners here. Where's all the? 
I just... Hey, what's that hanging over that workbench over there? That a brooch? Uh, yes it is. Uh, hang on. Up and have a little drinky boots. Loads of stuff here, but... Yeah. Um. Oh, that one's working. And another drill. Anything here? Um, nope. Oh, Lily. Oh, I think I picked up the brooch last time. Hey, what you need? Hey. That noose the brooch was hanging on wasn't an accident. It's a safe assumption they cleared any intel out of here already. But this just confirms my suspicions about what's going on. Let's get back to the sheriff by way of a stop at my room first. You're getting caught up in something old and bitter. You deserve an explanation. Okay. Yeah, I picked it up first time. That's why I had two. Alright, well... Oh, that's a nasty one. That's a seven. That's explosive. Got it. Got it. Uh, what is that? Hardened. No, no, that's not worth it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's get the flock out of here, then. Okay, so I've done all the strength stuff. I have five. So now... Um, we have got action girl. All done. Moving targets. No. I quite like the idea of quick hands. Hang on, we're going to have one more point. In agility. Because that will give us... A little bit more in the way of action points. I need to figure out, hang on. All right. Okay, you, both. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can only do five. Never mind. Although those action points do come back pretty quick. Okay, not that. That, those. Rip it out their head. Okay, have we got anyone? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't remember anyone being up here. Hmm, they must have fired the housekeeper. Oh, I thought that was a death claw, but it's just an umbrella. Isn't that weird, right? Oh, I was going to come over to Finch Farm, but we don't own Finch Farm yet. Um. All right, never mind. I'm not in power armor, so that's good. Right, let's. Get out of here. Uh, 
That's just going to be more fighting on the road. Definitely need to, um... Well, if I could... Oh. Thank you. I do like hitting the thrusters. Um. Oh, and it would have... That's just made my life a bit easier. Hi, as he's going to catch up with him. Or... Um... Raider. Yeah, I don't. Really don't need any more Raider stuff, but let's go see what County Crossing's up to. And, oh, that was, that was one of my robots. Bless him. Now, put that away because I go a bit quicker. Yeah, I thought we had some stuff over here. Not the best place. I haven't... I, this place still needs work doing to it. Definitely. But I wonder... You know, they're in their 70s. They're happy-ish. Anyone needs to be moved? I've got the clothes here already. Okay. Uh, right. Time to save. And for expediency for me... I, let's have a look. We need to go to Oh, I can go Oh, I can go to the diner. We could probably listen to what Lily's got to say. On me. And then that'll be about it, then, won't it, really? There you go. Hi, there you go. Hi. Huh? There you go. Hello, what twisted mister. Good day. No, it's Lily's place we're heading to. Talk to Lily. Here we are. Right. Hey, anything you need, you just take care of it yourself. Uh, Excuse me. So, that explanation you wrote about the sheriff and the gunners, huh? Where to begin? You see, yeah. Where have you gone? it got a history that is making this cistern incident a little more complicated than you might think. Okay. I know Babs mentioned what happened to the sheriff in Pennsylvania with the gunners a while back at dinner night. That's where it starts, but it doesn't end there. There was a little incident here in Diamond City the gunners perpetrated. The sheriff's response? We call that the message around here. The message in the FSD motto, Mite Nuntius, more specifically. It's a touchy subject around here, because the gunners killed so many citizens at Diamond City that day. <clears throat> well, what happened? That story about a squad going AWOL from the Brotherhood by stealing a couple of vertebrates in the middle of the night? All true. The four lieutenants are all that's left of them now that the years in the wasteland have taken their toll. They stole a fuck ton of plasma weapons and well over a dozen T-60s when they left. The same T-60s the department uses today. Gary was there too. He's a civilian, but they've looked out for him since Crenshaw found him starving to death in a subway station in the capital. After they left, they hooked up with the outcasts in the Allegheny Mountains and lived there in exchange for the vertebrates and plasma weapons. If you ain't heard that whole story, go talk to one of the lieutenants. Okay. They got this unwritten rule around here that you don't talk about battles and struggles you weren't there for. I'm about to break that rule, because you're out here dodging bullets for this bad blood between us and the gunners. Um, okay. I like being... No, go on, tell me the long version. Sheriff got a job as a caravan guard after the outcasts fitted her with that fucking kick-ass arm of hers. She wanted to see what's out there. Gotta admit... 
<clears throat> you were a raider and you saw a six foot four bruiser like her sporting that arm, would you hit that caravan? Nah, you'd hit the next one. Mm. One of the stops on the caravan's route was here in Diamond City. They'd show maybe once a month, stay for a couple days, and move on. I was probably a tweener back then. That's the problem with being an orphan. I don't know exactly how old I am. Anyway, back then we only knew her as the mean-looking guard with the cool arm who wouldn't talk. Most of the younger girls wanted to be her back then. Total hero worship for the girl with no name image, you know? I'd follow her around the city when she was here, trying to act like her and imitate the way she walked. Mm. I know, pretty pathetic. The merchant she worked for, Fiddle, was a real cool guy. One of the most popular merchants I've ever seen. Not a wet blanket like Lucas Miller. He'd park out front and have candy for the kids when he was handing out the mail, relaying news and returning with the special request items. Then, in one of the smartest marketing maneuvers <clears throat> of all time, he'd whip out his fiddle and make it sing so he could dance and shit. He'd get a sizable crowd out there, and we'd turn it into a mini afternoon festival of sorts. Kind of became a tradition before long. That was the problem, though. We got predictable. Huge crowd out front, giant wide open gate into the city behind oh, him. Okay. We were so stupid. So predictable. One of them afternoons, the gunners launched a surprise attack on the city. Started with one of them, the Vola, launched a fat man round right into the middle of the crowd from a blown out window across the street. Nice. It killed almost 30 of us in that blast, including the heads of security, fiddle, guards, women and kids. Oaks worked security. His wife and daughter were killed. But he didn't find out till it was all over, thankfully. It spared him at least some pain. It's only sheer luck that I'm alive. I had to go back in to get some caps I saved up because I wanted one of them lemonades he was selling. The gunners had planned on dropping that mini nuke and then waltzing right in because they charged the wide open front gate right after that. There was hardly anyone left alive out front, but Oaks and the sheriff were two of them. So the sheriff took charge. I didn't see it firsthand. I was just a little girl. But I'm told the two of them emptied all their ammo and grenades stolen the charge. They were able to turn the would-be fall of Diamond City into a day-long urban combat quagmire instead. Not a bad deal when you think about it. Long story short, the sheriff led him that day into not only beating the gunners across the river to Cambridge, but captured 30 or so of them too. <laughs> well, but we had impressive. no idea what to do with the ones we caught. Well, food isn't exactly in generous supply in the wasteland, you know. <clears throat> Hang him. So, we marched him into an alleyway north of the city and kept him there that night, sitting on the ground, under lots of armed guards. The next morning, the sheriff sent her famous message. Everyone tells you to talk to Oaks when you ask about it. The sheriff started that day by launching a flare to get the attention of the gunners that retreated across the river, still licking their wounds. We, and I mean the whole city, marched them gunners north, up to the south shore of the river, and hung them, one by one, from the lampposts. Wow. Okay. We strung them up all along the river from the amphitheater to the alley where we had kept them the night before. That run-of-the-mill alley got a new name that day. Hangman's Alley. Hangman's <laughs> Alley. Yeah, good and call. And the sheriff wasn't nice about it, neither. This was no drop-and-snap hanging. <laughs> Not by a long shot. She used baling wire. Oh. Didn't give them hoods, didn't tie their feet, and hoisted him up with a Brahmin on the other end of the line. Slowly. Some of those fuckers took five or ten minutes to stop kicking. I'd spit when I mentioned him, but I don't spit on my floor. She made them all watch their buddies die, one by one, till it was their turn to get the run up to the top of the next lamppost. And the ones watching from across the river? Did they ever go fucking ape shit seeing their buddies die? The flare did its job. They saw everything. But there was nothing they could do about it. We beat the shit out of them. They were in no shape to stop us, much less from across the river. They had to sit there and take their medicine while we hoisted their friends as high as they could go, kicking, gagging, and bleeding out their eyes and ears. We made the bodies the gift that kept on giving by leaving them up there to rot. Time and the elements eventually took them down. To rub salt in the wound, we took the ones we killed in the firefight and slung them over the river wall for the crows and dogs to tear apart. Practically overnight, the Commonwealth heard about what Diamond City did and the literal new sheriff in town. <laughs> yeah. She hit the gunner so hard their grandparents felt it. We haven't had a gunner attack on the city since. 
But what we found out today, and the <clears> cistern, <throat> and Hub City, something tells me they're dying for a rematch. Um... No, oh, no, tell me more. This wasn't just about the sheriff's hatred for gunners. If you're looking to assign blame or call someone a butcher, understand the entire city would have ripped those gunners apart limb from limb with their bare hands if given the chance. Yeah, I can understand that. They just killed our friends, <clears throat> children, neighbors, and family members. A lot of them. I mean, Oaks hasn't been the same since. Never. The gunners did something much worse than kill him that day. They killed his soul. The city needed the people that did this to hurt, and hurt bad. There was a rage in us over this. The sheriff knew it had to be answered. The only thing that kept us from becoming an ugly mob who beat him to death was the sheriff's promise of vengeance, and strategy. The city didn't just need vengeance. It also needed real security, to make sure the gunners would never even think of pulling this shit again. Through the sheriff, we got our blood and our safety. We loved it for that. And we still do. We were all there. The whole city. We all came out from behind the walls and marched to the river just to watch every one of them die. And not a single one of us looked away. Everyone who lost a friend or family member got a chance to lead that Brahmin to hoist one of those fuckers up. And we all took it, including me. It's not something we like to talk about. But we were on our own, and it was on us to do something. Nobody else was gonna do what needed to be done. I mean, do you see a justice system around here? Me neither. But it provided as much closure as a lot of people were gonna get that day. And that Devola creep, whose head you brought back to Oaks? As I said, he's the one who pulled the fat man trigger. We all knew his name. We knew who he was and what he did, even though they didn't tell you up front. Every one of us. It may have been hidden behind a typical bounty, but the FSD wanted his head worse than Oaks let on. Much worse. That's why they had you leave the brooch. This is personal. Yeah. So now you know. You know just how mean we can get when you hurt our family. And as far as messages go, it don't get more clear than that. All we got <clears throat> is each other. And we're loyal to each other to the bitter end, whatever it may be. Don't forget that. Now let's go report this to the sheriff. This is pretty big. Oh, great. Oh, to the sheriff. Okay. Um. Okay, let's go find the sheriff now. And then, uh, once we've done that report, I think that'll do for today. Do, 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 do. I might be able to files travel there, but never mind. No, it's all right. Thank you. Now, doop, do, 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 do. I'm going to save again because there is lots of load screens. Uh -huh. That's going to do that every time I come in here unless I stop and let the script run its full course and i don't care because it's really quite fun to see it or hear it um no oh well, here we are <clears throat> right field ground floor Dooby -dooby -dooby. all right oh hello sarge Oh, are we all... That was the Sarge. I'm an egg. And... Let's hope we got some good news. The Bleacher Cistern. Well, a long way down. Here we go. We're back, Sheriff. I can see that. How's the water doing? Crenshaw returned already with the treatment. We should be operating at full capacity sometime tomorrow. Crisis averted. 
There you go. Crenshaw returned with the treatment. The doctor is flushing the system now to make sure all traces of the herbicide are removed. Report. What did you two find out there? Um... This wasn't random, they kidnapped Hewitt for his card. We were operating under that assumption, yes. That's why we sent Lily to the location. Oh, that's a bit weird. Um, there are more gunners involved. It seems they're targeting it. We've recovered a holotape, Lily has Very it. Very good. We'll turn it over to Lieutenant Dan for analysis. What else? Oh, they're targeting... Turns out, the gunners were operating out of my friend's house. He saw most of it. We iced the gunners for him, and he was more than happy to help. So much for fact-finding. Kuda was pretty upset, Sheriff. He wasn't going to tell us nothing until he got his house back. Part of the intel was locked up in his head. I see. So what facts did you find? We got this holotape with the CEO's journal on it. Kuda said they took Hewitt alive and were talking about working for someone else. Which, you know, I mean, gunners do. But we went through their terminal after we iced them to have a look. And this seems to be a gunner operation. I mean, nobody hired him to kidnap Hewitt. They're doing this themselves. Continue. Kuda said he was afraid to come forward because he had no backup out there. And I gotta admit, he is alone out there. It makes him a great victim. Basically, he said he'd agree to be our eyes and ears out there if the scouts stop by and have a few beers with them on their patrol. And you gotta know, Kuda said whoever spiked the water here was forced under threat of having his daughter killed. So, once you do find out who it was, Keep that under consideration when figuring out what to do with them. Good work. And the gunners? Oh yeah. Almost forgot about them. Duh, Lily. Uh, where were we? Oh yeah. So you'll see on this guy's journal he talks about the Vola and the gunner Crenshaw whacked in Vault 75 being officers for this operation of theirs. Turns out, the ones in the vault were tasked with kidnapping random schlubs for the Institute as a revenue stream to fund this whole thing. And the ones in my friend's house were in charge of poisoning the cistern. They succeeded and were set to leave tomorrow. So we headed back to Hub City where Devola lost his head and looked for intel, because nobody told my sidekick he had to look for it the first time. Well, I'm glad you were smart enough to do so, Lily. Someone had been by to clean up the bodies, so that place ain't fully abandoned. They definitely took anything of value out of there, though. But they left Oaks's FSD brooch behind. Remember the calling card put on Devola's body? It was wired to blow, of course. Oh. But what was really interesting is that it was hanging from a noose, Sheriff. A noose. You know what that probably means. It would seem the gunners need to be taught a new lesson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So what's the next step? For you, nothing. Thanks to you two, we have a significant amount of intel that needs analyzing before we can act on it. But, there is a pressing matter that we could use your friend's help with. Okay. Lieutenant Dan is waiting for you in the conference area. He'll have your payment. There is also another matter we could use your help with. Okay. The lieutenant will have the details, but briefly, there's a loose end regarding the Gunner Institute link you uncovered. We'd like to fix it. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Um, okay. Well, oh, for goodness sake, so now... Oh, okay, can I... Okay, well, a few more minutes then. Uh, so the water's back on, that's grand news. Oh, and I'm sure the weeds will be growing soon. It's just over the hour, so let's just get out of here. Oh, because then I need to go and get to go to bed. Hmm. Do 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 do. The longer, I suppose I could fast travel, but... Right. No one really needs to shut the system door. Um, here we are. The stops, right field. Mm -hmm. I just want to find out what the next thing is. Um... Oh, piano's going to play. Excuse me again. Uh, they've got some interesting tunes. But if they go on for more than 15 seconds, out of a copyright strike, possibly. Well, I don't know. 
I might just let them run like that. Huh? That's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, it's over here. I would imagine I could probably fast travel to all of these places. Oh, here we are. Lieutenant Dan. Okay. Excuse me. Lily's sidekick. Here's your payment. You Thank should you. get some rest first, then come see me about an important mission related to your Vault 75 intel. Um... Well... Um, this, <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go and have a kip here. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. What are we? Uh, mid, middle of July. I don't think I've ever had a game where I've gone this long. We, we, I mean, <sighs> Lily is optional. I'm quite happy. Let's see the mission. Okay, hang on. What is it? I want O N. Um, here we go. There we go. All right, let's go see what Lieutenant Lieutenant Dan has to do. Excuse me. Can I see you <clears throat> ready for your mission now? Yep. <clears throat> um, I'm ready. What's the plan? The holotape of the gunner lieutenant you killed in Vault 75 contained many encrypted journal entries, as well as the ones you read. This Lieutenant O'Brien was overseeing a running kidnapping contract for the Institute to raise revenue for an as-of-yet undetermined purpose. His company would kidnap as directed by the Institute, deliver their objective, and collect their substantial payment. He was under explicit orders from his commanding officer not to kidnap from Diamond City, our organization, or anyone under our protection. Oh, he screwed up, didn't he? While that raises questions about what purpose they needed so many caps for, that is not why you're here. The only reason we know of this operation at all is because Lieutenant O'Brien got greedy, disobeyed orders, and took a contract to kidnap Lily. Fucking typical. Only two things you can count on in this world. Oh, hello, Lily. Lily's being greedy, and the shit hitting the fan I'm holding. We'd call it a lucky break, but that ignores what Lily's been through. Nevertheless, it was not the only outside contract the lieutenant took. Oh, okay. The lieutenant set out a squad with the goal of kidnapping either Dr. McClintock or Mr. Dr. Pepper as targets of opportunity. The squad has been operating independently and is unaware that O'Brien's oh. company was liquidated by Crenshaw and yourself. Neither Dr. McClintock nor Mr. Dr. Pepper leave the city very often, or regularly. When they do, they book passage with a caravan for safety. This necessitates the gunners setting up a spotter to monitor the entrance to Diamond City to give their squad advance notice. Oh, I see where this is going. Lieutenant Harkins has found that spotter, sitting in a building south of the front gate to the city, not far from Hardware Town. We don't want the spotter, though. We want the whole squad. So we're laying a trap, and you're the bait. That makes this particularly dangerous. That's fine. Don't you worry, Dan. It's okay if we need to risk my sidekick's life for this mission. That's a chance I'm willing to take to protect my friends. <laughs> Great, so what do you need me to do? You're going to pretend to be Mr. Dr. Pepper. Oh, okay. He's waiting for you in his room. He's been briefed and will have a set of clothes for you to wear. Put them on. You then meet Carla at the front gate. We've booked passage for you with her caravan to Abernathy Farm and told her to make it known. Yeah, she... You will proceed with Carla to the outskirts of the Fens to ensure the gunner spotter sees you dressed as Mr. Dr. Pepper leaving the city. Once you're outside the Fens, you'll break off from Carla for her protection and proceed to Abernathy Farm on roads by way of Walden Pond. Okay. The gunners will know your destination and are likely to kidnap you close to Abernathy because they can predict you will be near there eventually. Yep. Lieutenant Crenshaw, his scouts, and some snipers will be following you from a distance behind in anticipation of the kidnapping attempt. Your job is to draw out the gunner kidnapping squad Hello, sure. and keep them busy until Lieutenant Crenshaw and his men can arrive. Lieutenant Crenshaw may have more orders from there which are need to know depending on mission status. Obey them and you will be paid handsomely. Thank you. You don't even need the money. Hey, let me know. Delano normally keeps these at a window for the good hey. kids who visit. Here you go. 
Um. Um. Come to no, no, that's fine. That's good. Okay. There you go. Lily is on side. That's good. Oop, cancel. Lily, stand still. Yeah. Oh, hello. Heads up. Shoot. Uh, okay. Right. <clears throat> so, it's, um, that's what we're going to be doing on the next episode. Um, hang on. How do we get out of here? Um, this, oh, this way. Oh, yeah, Mr. Dr. Pepper. So, a huge thank you to all who have watched. Hope you've enjoyed. Between now and the next vid, please take care. Keep safe. And as always, if you are unfortunate enough to be not very well, I really do hope you are the best you can be as soon as possible. Um, so, take care. Ta da for now. Oh, here we are. All right. Not sure what he was doing then. There you go. Ta da, all. See you all soon. Bye for now.